while hiking the Galapagos and encountering its exceptional fauna and flora, it becomes evident without delay how closely tied it is to the ocean. Every step taken on the volcanic islands serves as a constant reminder of their aquatic beginnings. As we get closer to the shore, the urge to extend our exploration beneath the waves intensifies. In no time we are immersed in a blue world filled with life and the only sound is that of bubbles and crashing waves. Briefly, we lose awareness of our need for air, merging into the spectacle we observe, equally becoming participants in the unfolding drama as we are subjects for those observing us. We may be as alien to them as they are to us, yet neither cross the line as we get closer and closer to meet face to face. Sometimes I wonder, what do they think of us? We invade their privacy, yet they still come to greet us as if they knew who we are. An adult look from a distance with a wary eye, while the youngster make contact as if inviting us to play a game of Catch me if you can. It's hard to believe that wildlife here can be so tame, the very same species that are so skittish somewhere else. Despite their past abuse by seal hunters, these sealians seem to have forgotten their past. Today, they play as if not having any concerns except for the occasional shark. This is definitely a whole different world, the underwater realm where it all started. Life on land relies heavily on the ocean. Many creatures have reached terrestrial habitats through its currents. Now, giant tortoises, marine iguanas, and penguins, having made their homes here, owe their presence to the sea. One creature arrived by air, yet gradually lost its capability to fly due to abundant food resources and the absence of predators. These birds are exclusive to this area, just like all the other creatures that have evolved on these islands. From birds to reptiles, they have all been shaped by the surrounding water. These waters beckon us to explore life beneath the surface. A trip to the Galapagos wouldn't be complete without fully immersing oneself in its vibrant aquatic life.